Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're gonna take a look at a scorecard of the Mr. Olympia 2024 and what you'll see here is very interesting. So let's start with the top two, Samson Daura and Hari Chopin, right here in the Men's Bodybuilding Open. And as you can notice, the judging, the pre-judging, both of these guys had an equal amount of points, 8 and 8. Now, I don't know how this even happened, I thought uh, the reason why there is always an uneven number of judges, like 7, 9, or 5, is because this stuff shouldn't happen, but I I'm not a judge, I'm not sure how this works, so apparently it was a tie. So I'm thinking, what would happen if this was a one-day show? Would we have two Mr. Olympias? Maybe this is a typo, if there is anybody in the comment section who understands this stuff, uh, explain to us please, I will pin the comment. But let's assume this is normal, and that this happens, I never saw it before, I don't think, but let's assume it's normal. Then this means that it was actually extremely close between Samson and Hari. I personally didn't see it that way, I thought it was more like Derek versus Samson. I thought Hari was gonna end up in third, but yeah, sure, I can see Hari placing second here, but I didn't know it was this close between Samson and Hari, apparently it was. And then at the finals, Samson beat Hari by only three points. So again, it was very close to the finals as well, however, Samson managed to beat Hari. Let's take a look at real quick at this comparison as well. Martin was in this callout as well, but since it wasn't close between him and Derek based on the scorecard, we're gonna just take a look at this uh, top three right here. So let's go with a side chest first, uh, I mean, Hari actually did look pretty sharp here. Maybe he actually was the most conditioned guy in this top three, and Derek, yeah, he didn't brought the best conditioning. He was definitely leaner last year, and I think his back grew even more, so it made everything else seem smaller on him. Now, as far as uh, Samson versus Hari, I mean, Hari was maybe slightly more conditioned, but Samson was in decent shape as well. Now, look at the size of the legs from the side. Samson's legs were much, much bigger than Hari's. And he's simply a bigger man, bigger guy, you know, has a taller chest, bigger arms, bigger chest, everything is just bigger. Now, from behind, Samson would usually lose ground, but now, now look at his hamstrings, compare them to Hari's. He had more details in the hamstrings. Maybe glutes weren't as lean, but they were conditioned enough. Hadi's back was a little bit wider, but Samson's back wasn't far behind. Derek, of course, is better than these two guys, both of them, of course, but it's only back shots. As far as the back uh, double bicep, I think Samson had more details in the back. His back looked uh, leaner, drier, especially lower back. Hadi actually looked very good in the side tricep. It wasn't exactly, you know, proper way to hit the side tricep. He wasn't showing his triceps much. He was turning to the front, but still, he looked very good in this one. We can give him this pose. As far as most muscular, Hari did have a lot more details, like through the chest and through the abs, but then the legs, the details in the legs and the roundness of the legs, overall the size, the height, Samson was very good as well, it was close, uh, Derek definitely lost this one because of the lack of conditioning and details in the legs and the chest and, and shoulders. As far as the abs and thighs, Hari is very good in this pose, but Samson also improved it a lot. Here, he didn't even flex the abs, they took a photo at a wrong moment, look at Derek, his abs were not even showing, his legs also lacked detail, lacked size, so yeah, I can definitely see now why Derek placed a third, it was definitely the right call, and as far as Samson and Hari, yeah, it actually was close based on these photos right here. We gotta give the front double to Samson because of his small waist, the very nice flow, uh, details and size of the legs, but Hadi also looked very good, I mean, with those lats, with those arms, with legs big as well, front lat spread, I'd give it to Samson, but again, Hadi is not that far behind, so overall, yeah, I can definitely see that it was very, very close, especially based on these uh, photos right here, it wasn't that obvious based on the live stream, but live stream was uh, horrible, however, I do think Samson definitely deserved the win, as far as uh, next year, who the hell knows what's gonna happen, Hari may come in, uh, the way he was conditioned at the Arnold Classic, and Samson, if he wants to hold on his title, he needs to improve as well, he needs to come even more conditioned, we'll see about that, now, as far as the fifth and sixth place, Andrew Jack and Hunter Labrada kind of switched spots at the finals, so as you can see, Hunter was beating uh, Andrew by four points at the pre-judging, and then at the finals, Andrew won by five points, so Andrew beat Hunter by only one point, it was a very, very close decision, Martin was firmly in fourth, there was no chance of him placing third or fifth, William Bonak and Rafael Brandau, that's also very interesting, so as you can see, Rafael Brandau beat Bonak by six points at a pre-judging. 
And then at the finals, William Bonac turned it around and he beat uh, Rafael by uh, 9 points. So yeah, another comeback at the finals. And then the same thing with Brandon Curry and Akeem Williams. As you can see, Brandon Curry beat Akeem Williams by 15 freaking points at the pre-judging. And then uh, Akeem Williams actually beat him by 8 points. So a huge turnaround right here. But uh, since uh, Brandon beat uh, Akeem by 15 freaking points at the pre-judging, there was no chance of Akeem coming back. Not that much. So a lot of different decisions in the pre-judging and the finals, a lot of judges changed their mind in only one day. Not very common, it doesn't happen that much, but I guess that's why this is a two-day show. You need to nail it both days if you want to win the show, not only one day. So very interesting uh, decisions right here. Tell me in the comment section down below what do you think about this. Alright, now let's check out Classic Physique. And here we didn't have that many uh, interesting decisions, it was all pretty clear. But for some reason, there are no scores for the finals. Why is that? Did I forget to type them in? Or was the finals just for the audience? Did they not even score the finals? Which would be very weird. Unfortunately, I don't have an explanation for this either. If anybody knows how these things work, why this happened, again, comment down below. I don't understand this, but it is what it is. As far as the prejudging, it was actually kinda close between Chris Bumstead and Mike Sommerfeld. I think this is the first time ever that Chris did not win with a perfect score since 2019 and his first Mr. Olympia win against Brion Ainsley. That one was close as well. This is the first time for for last five years that somebody got close to Chris Bumstead. This means that some judges thought that Mike Sommerfeld should have won the Mr. Olympia. I mean, Mike definitely brought it. He surprised us all, basically. Nobody expected he was gonna be second and to even push Chris and to make some judges give him the first spot, right? Nobody kind of, nobody thought that. Nobody expected that. And he was definitely on. Now, with the pre-judging, I wasn't sure if it was gonna be him or Urs in that second, but I knew that Chris Bumstead is going to win. Now, after reviewing these photos here, I can maybe even see some reasons why Mike uh, should place ahead of uh, Seabum. For example, his back was bigger. It was just bigger and better, more developed. His glutes were also very conditioned. Maybe he had even more lines than Chris in the glutes. And his hamstrings were probably more symmetrical than Chris Bumstead's because uh, you guys know that Chris Bumstead had a, a couple of tears and one of them was in the hamstrings. So like from the back, he kind of had cleaner look maybe even better conditioning in the glutes. Like, look at the separation, it goes all the way in to the trunks, and Chris doesn't have that kind of a separation, and also the back was bigger. I mean, I definitely thought uh, Chris Bumster is going to win this for sure, and I thought it was going to be a clean win, but now after seeing this, I mean, some judges actually gave it to Mike. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. If that's the way they saw it, they should give it to him, even though he is not as popular, even though he is not the reigning Mr. Olympia champion for five years at that point. Uh, and then this was his last Mr. Olympia. I'm sure the judges also knew this. Uh, you know, judging lately is very, very good, guys. Like back in the 90s and, and 2000s, you really needed to knock out the champion if you wanted to beat him. But now they're not doing it that way. There is no such thing anymore. You know, last year, Derek won, even though Hardy was the champion. And this year, Derek placed third, even though he did all the things right in the year. He did everything that was asked for him, you know, by the Federation and so on. He was a great representation, and then he placed a third. And Big Grammy that year placed fifth, because he deserved it. So I love that. And I love the fact that actually some judges gave it to Mike. I don't see it. I would definitely give it to Chris still. And, you know, majority of the judges actually saw it that way. So, of course, Chris won, but it wasn't very easy. You know, if he wasn't 100% on, and he was, I think he was, if he was a little bit uh, weaker, if he was a little bit worse, maybe he would have lost this Mr. Olympia. That would not make a great story, you know, retiring after losing. So once again, very, very interesting uh, scorecard. Whatever you guys think about this, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And for more this kind of content in the next days, guys, stay tuned. Subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.